America's election headquarters voting now less than a day away in a closely watched congressional race in Pennsylvania. It pits Republican Rick Saccone against Democrat Connor Lamb. And the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette newspaper has just endorsed Rick Saccone in this district deep in the heart of Trump country. Saccone and Lamb are locked in a tight race, the GOP pulling out all the stops, including having president, the president campaign there over the weekend. We need our Congressman Saccone. We have to have him. We have to have him. The people of Pittsburgh cannot be conned by this guy Lamb. You just can't do it because he's, again, he's never going to vote for us. Joining us now is Hugo Gurdon. He is Washington Examiner's editorial director. It's interesting. I mean, the candidates are, 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 their positions seem to be close, or at least that's how they're kind of making it out to be. Connor Lamb seems to be running, you know, to the right of, of any Democrats I've seen recently. What's yeah, your take? Uh, Melissa, that's exactly right. Connor Lamb is making sure that he's running as a conservative. He knows that the district is, as the report just said, deep in Trump country. So he's not attacking President Trump, and he's distancing himself from the Democratic Party. His campaign signs don't mention that he's a Democrat. He's making sure that the Democratic National Committee is, is kept at a distance. So he's making sure that he's, you know, apart from being, I mean, he's, he's saying he uh, supports gun rights, and he wants to clean up Washington, but he's not saying much else, and he's making sure that the, that the people there, the voters there, think of him as a conservative. And what's really fascinating about this is that he's showing Democrats how they might win back some of those districts and those states which were lost by Hillary Clinton when the Democratic party was running more yeah. on identity politics rather than blue collar issues. If he wins, I mean, obviously the race is, is very, very tight at this point. I know he has endorsements um, from steel workers, from the union. Obviously, the president with the steel tariffs, you know, at, at least put out something to give them to go for his candidate instead, although you heard him saying there he's never going to vote with us. The Republican in the race, though, has taken another um, play from President Trump's book. Listen to this. I do not believe, as Paul Ryan does, that these are entitlements or another form of welfare, as he likes to call it. Uh, and if I have anything to say, if I have the honor of serving as your next member of Congress, we will extend the same thank you and recognition, not just in words, but in actions. We will secure these rights and benefits that you have earned over the course of a lifetime of service to this country. Chameleon, he'll try to be whatever Connor the chameleon can be and, and try to uh, be, uh, you know, uh, more like me to try to draw votes away from me. But it doesn't work when we, when we put the facts out there. And that's been very effective. There you go. I mean, both sides have learned something from the president. Connor the chameleon, it's, it's, they, some call it name calling, other call it, others call it good marketing. Yeah, well, he's, he's a very attractive candidate, uh, Connor Lamb, and he's making sure that he doesn't do anything to alienate the kind of voters who voted for Trump by double digits in the 2016 election. And as you say, you know, Rick Saccone is making sure that he's presenting himself as, uh, you know, close to Trump as well. The truth is, this is, is a very important election, both for the Democrats and the Republicans. If the Democrats can win a district which uh, President Trump won big in, it shows them that they have the opportunity of taking back Capitol Hill, taking back at least the House. Uh, in the midterm elections. Now, that would be appalling for the Republican Party on Capitol Hill, but it would be bad for President Trump as well, because without, the, without a Republicans controlling the House, it would be very difficult for him to push his agenda, and the Democrats will be able to make sure that he look, it's very hard for him to govern, and that would affect his chances in 2020. Well, we will be watching this race very closely as a result. Sir, thank you so much. Appreciate your Thanks, time. Thanks, Melissa.